This segment will provide information on how to set up your 3M PPS cup for mixing and spraying applications. Personal protection is a must. Remember to select protective eyewear, appropriate gloves, hearing protection, respirator, and protective clothing based on your job and exposure assessment. The first step to using PPS is to assemble your PPS cup. Start by putting the mix ratio insert into the PPS hard cup. Next, place the PPS liner into the hard cup. You can now mix your paint directly in the PPS liner. The next step is to attach the PPS lid to the liner. There are two different filter options built into the PPS lid. Clear PPS lids contain a 200 micron size strainer, which is typically used for solvent-borne paints. Blue lids use a 125 micron filter, which is typically used for waterborne paints. Consult your paint manufacturer's product data sheet to choose the correct filter size. To attach the lid, simply take the lid and set it on top of the liner. Gently push the lid until it snaps into the liner. With the lid attached, gently lift and rotate the PPS liner to make sure the lid is properly attached. Now attach the PPS collar to the hard cup. This will secure the lid and liner. Simply thread the collar onto the hard cup and tighten by hand until snug. Once the PPS cup is assembled, we are ready to attach the spray gun. With the PPS cup sitting on a bench, take your spray gun and push it into the lid spout and rotate it one quarter turn to lock the gun and PPS cup together. It is important to attach the lid and cup such that the latches on the lid are parallel with the atomizing head. You are now ready to set up the spray gun for best results.